the bell icon to turn on notifications. The desktop feature in Windows 11 helps you stay organized when you have lots of windows and applications running. Now, as we saw in the previous lesson, we can tell the applications that have windows open when we look at the taskbar. The icons that have that small line underneath are the ones where I currently have active windows. Now, it might be that I have so many windows open that it becomes unmanageable to organize them on one desktop. So what we can do here is utilize the desktops feature in Windows 11 and spread our windows across multiple desktops. As I mentioned in a previous lesson, it's kind of like having multiple monitors, but virtually. So if we hover over the desktops icon in the taskbar, notice that I have desktop one, which is the desktop I'm currently looking at. And then I have the ability to add more desktops. So what I might want to do here is click on this plus for new desktop. And now I have desktop two. I could even add a third one if I wanted to as well, just by clicking this plus again. So now I have three different desktops and I can spread my windows across them accordingly because the fewer windows that you have to manage on your desktop, the easier it is. Another thing I can also do here is I can rename these desktops and give them a more meaningful name. So for example, maybe on this first desktop, I want this one solely for my Microsoft applications. So I'm going to name that Microsoft apps. Maybe on desktop two, I want this to be for file explorer because I always have a lot of those windows open. And maybe desktop three is going to be for any internet sites that I'm currently browsing. And then I can organize my applications accordingly. So I'm just going to open a couple of Microsoft documents here. So let's just open a blank Excel file and let's also open a blank Word document. Now, if I go down to the desktop button, you can see that both of those windows are currently open on the Internet desktop. So those are in the wrong place. Now, what I can do here is I can click on this desktop button and it's going to show me my desktops at the bottom and it's going to show me all of my open applications. And I can then organize these onto the different desktops by dragging and dropping. So I want all of my Microsoft apps together. So let's grab this Word window and drag and drop it onto the Microsoft apps desktop. I'm going to grab the Excel window and I'm going to drag and drop that onto Microsoft apps as well. I'm going to do the same with these file explorer windows. So I'm going to drag and drop and drag and drop. And then finally, we have this internet browser and we're going to put that on the third desktop. Now I'm currently clicked on the third desktop, which is why it's appearing just here. But now if I jump across to the file explorer desk space, there are my file explorer windows. If I jump across to the Microsoft apps web space, those, those are contained here. Another cool little shortcut when it comes to working with these different desktops is you can navigate between the different desktops by holding down control win and using your arrow keys. So if I hold down control win and do right arrow, it's going to move me to the file explorer desktop. If I do it again, it's going to move me across to the internet desktop. And when I let go, I'm basically on that desktop. So that desktop feature is a great way of organizing multiple windows into groups, allowing you to focus on one specific task. And of course, if at any point you want to remove or delete one of these workspaces, if you hover over and click on the cross, that's going to get rid of that particular desktop and it's going to move any windows that you had open on that particular desktop across to the next desktop. So you can see here that now on the File Explorer desktop, I have that Microsoft Edge browser. That was the one that was on the desktop that I've just deleted. So don't worry when you do remove these desktops, your windows don't go with them. They just move onto a different desktop. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.